Now, thanks, Jana. Now, another activity to commemorate Veterans Day will be the Salute to Veterans Run 5K. And I have Isabel Guerrero here, and uh, she's going to tell us about the experience. This is year 12. Yes, yes, it is. So the Salute to Veterans Run is a 5K course that starts here at the race ends, or I'm sorry, at the ship, and we will be running throughout Jacksonville. We have a very uh, great uh, lineup of events. We have a concert headlining Paris Winningham, so that's going to be our post race events. Typically this race would be in the morning. I personally love to run in the morning, but to me running is running. It's all good. Uh, but because we want to compensate with the evening run, we wanted to have a bunch of entertainment as well too. So you can expect that there's going to be some food. There's going to be beverages. There's going to be a lot of fun and entertainment. And of course there's going to be the Paris Winningham concert. So I mean, we can talk about Paris a lot. We'll get into that. But another thing people are going to really be interested in, this is definitely kid-friendly, family-friendly, also pet-friendly, because yeah. it, it starts at 4, but the run doesn't start till 5, but at 4 o'clock... Yes, so we have the Patriotic Paws Parade. That's a one-mile fun run. What's really cool about this is that you get to bring your fur baby, dress him up. We have prizes for the top three dogs. So it's super exciting. So not just family-friendly, but pet-friendly as well. And what does it mean to know that the community comes together every year to salute veterans? I mean, doing this 12 years in a row, that means people are really coming out to show support and love on such an important occasion. We have a lot of participation, and I would say what's made our participation grow a lot more is by having the USS Orlick. For the longest time, we were raising money to bring the Orlick here to Jacksonville, and now that it's here, we also let get to let the runners enjoy touring the ship afterwards. So that's also part of the package. You get to come and tour the boat ship for free and yeah so we just got a lot of great things and i'm really excited about it so there's tour opportunity even if you're not running it's just great to come out and be a part of the occasion oh yeah definitely and it's beautiful weather you couldn't ask for better you know weather on race day so the race start or the event starts at four the race is at five you still have time to register go to first place running yes so go to first place sports running you can still register you can also register here on race day so no worries we still have plenty of medals plenty of shirts lots of swag lots of uh you know room for more runners so we really want to get a little bit more participation going so that we can max out are you running i'm not running this year but i am a runner but i wouldn't be able to do my race duty race director duties and run at the same time too but i definitely will be running with the runners in spirit <laughs> i just had to throw that out. i'm not running either but i will be with you in spirit so thank you for your service thank you for coming out and doing this and uh we're looking forward to everything going on this weekend now we've got more river city live coming up please don't go anywhere and then we're going to be doing the commemoration of the field of flag or flag of field honors and uh yeah i'm looking forward to that as well thank so you. you guys hang with us we'll be right back